How's it going, people? My name's Big Money. This here is some more Naval Strike. Playing some Carrier Assault, of course, because I don't even know if I've played any other game modes on this expansion pack yet. I've just been playing Carrier Assault. But uh, it is a good game mode, and I've been enjoying playing it. And we have some more gameplay for you today as we come into the loading bay down the stairs here. Going just basically. Just get a little tactical insertion going here. We've got our little crew, our little squad. We're making our way in there. At first, I was a little bit confused, though, because I was, like, waiting on these doors opening before I was like, oh, shit, yeah, we still need to take aid, so, uh, let's do that. And the enemy team had the whole front door locked down, and we had to come up behind them here, and I, I get a few kills here. Not too bad. You know, coming up behind them, using my UMP-45, which is a beast of a PDW. But uh, I do need to unlock myself some more PDWs, it seems. But, uh, yeah, carry yourself, man. It's, it's, like I said, it's a great game mode. It's a really fun game mode, and, uh, I do like the whole sort of actual assaulting the aircraft carrier aspect of it, the actual when you're inside the aircraft carrier. The way that the aircraft carriers are laid out is uh, really well done, I'm really enjoying it, the way that uh, getting into this main sort of hold area, as you can see we're in just now, uh, before a transition just there, um, there's so many different ways that you can actually get into that area, it's, uh, it's pretty awesome, the way that if you're defending you can't just lock down everything all the- well you probably could, but you would need to really coordinate your efforts with your team to actually uh, achieve that sort of um, locked down on the uh, actual aircraft carrier with all the different avenues that you can take to get in there. And uh, they've done a good job actually designing that. You know, there's too many things uh, over the past couple of Battlefield games where there's too many choke points. And when your points are a rush, it can be an absolute pain getting past some of these choke points. So they've done a good job of balancing out the aircraft carriers where it is possible to defend it vigorously and stop the enemy team from getting in there, uh, but at the same time, there's plenty of avenues for the attackers to take. That being said, though, when it comes to defending your aircraft carrier, sometimes uh, it can descend into you and one other guy just in the aircraft carrier on your own, just like, yeah, because I've seen that before, man, flash it up on the screen, like, enemy have breached your aircraft carrier, and you're like, shit, I need to get back there and actually try and defend this shit you know, join my team and we will win this game. I go back there and it's just me and one guy. He was just like, oh, what's up, mate? Let's, let's do this, I guess. Ironically, we won that game. It just seems that the enemy team didn't really attack that much that game for some odd reason. I don't know why. But uh, I've had an, I had an idea a few days ago, or at least before this actually released, I had an idea that uh, this game mode would be more along the lines of one team is defending the aircraft carrier at all times, the other team is attacking it, trying to destroy it, and uh, it was kind of like rush, but you know, you need to destroy the aircraft carrier and stuff. That That's why I thought this game mode really was. What it really, it turns out there is, is basically just conquest and some rush. That seems to be the what they're kind of going for. Now, I had an idea of how I thought this game would be, this game mode, it's a good game mode, let me get that out of the way first. I'm enjoying playing this, and it's fine the way that it is. But something that I thought would be really epic with this game mode, and I want to know your thoughts on this, is that um, it plays the same way that it currently does uh, in the opening stages when it comes to the sort of conquest part of it. Capture flags, it launches uh, uh, SAM sites, uh, you know, they launch some missiles at the uh, aircraft carrier, they damage them to the point where they open. But it's a race to who can open the enemy one first, and if you open their one first, then your team ends up as the attackers. And the other team are the defenders, and your aircraft carrier, if you are the attackers, is totally irrelevant at this point. That's fine. You've defended that. That's okay. You're attacking their aircraft carrier now. So how would they put this into effect? Well... When you open their aircraft carrier, it goes into a sort of cinematic where it will show uh, you all the members of the game, everyone in the server, gets sort of teleported to their respective positions. So basically, as an attacker, you would be teleported into, let's say, a helicopter. And it would do a little sort of cinematic and you guys would be getting your sort of speech up. Yeah, we're gonna fuck them up and stuff. Man things. You know, the usual stuff. Some guy with a very strong jawline just te grunting things at you saying, Yeah, we America. Or China or Russia or whatever <laughs> faction you're playing as at the time. And the defenders would be teleported inside their aircraft carrier to certain positions around there. Um, some people attacking would be in boats. Some people would be in, you know, you get this vehicle, you get that vehicle, whatever. And... You basically, it just goes into a sort of battle over one ship. I think it would be way more epic this way. 
Because what it ends up turning into and at the moment, like I said, it's still fun, it's a good game mode, but at the moment what it turns into sometimes is, uh, you turn up at their ship, there's like four of you and there's like five of them, and then the rest of the people in the server are fucking about on the islands. It's just, it's not as, as sort of, it's a bit of a letdown at some point sometimes. Because, I mean, it's happened way too many times where we've turned up and this shot is so close. But it's happened way too many times where uh, the attacking team show up there and there's no one defending and you just, you know, walk towards the MCOM stations, arm them, and win the game. And that's it. It, it, it. There's just not enough actual fighting going on inside the aircraft carrier to merit how well designed the aircraft carriers are. It's just stupid, I think. So, I think if it sort of forced everyone into a position where you have to fight over this ship, it would be way better. I don't know, if it just, the sort of cinematics, if you think about this, it would go into that sort of, the way that the intro cinematics are kind of done with Titanfall. Because those are pretty cool. So if it just is something like that, and then everyone just fights over the ship, I think it would be just way more epic. I don't know, it would need to be really tested to see if it worked first. That was a nice little shot just there, I actually got the helicopter that time. I would have slowed it down so you could see it, but I really couldn't see shit because of the sun and suppression and stuff. So, uh, we have a problem. I never killed anyone on the actual helicopter, so, uh, we have a search party coming after us and we're gonna try and actually defend this flag here. But, uh, leave your comments down below, guys. What do you think of this sort of game mode idea, uh, sort of tweak? I know that they wouldn't do this. I, I know that they're not going to change something that's in the game. It's not how they operate. I just want to. I just wanted to throw out my idea to see if you guys would think that this would work or uh, if it sounds like fun. Because I think it would be epic, honestly. If they just sort of built up the sort of atmosphere and the immersion a little bit when it comes to the actual game mode. Sometimes I think the game modes could just become so much more. Because at the moment it can turn into just the sort of shit shoot sometimes and people just don't care about MCOMs or any of that fucking objective shit. It just, no one cares. I don't know. It, it, it's just something I think they, they could improve on. Pay attention to this just here. I see the hovercraft approaching on the map, I think, and I go and shoot it, and then the helicopter just appears out of nowhere. <laughs> and we take him down instead. Kind of fail at actually killing the guy that was on the hovercraft in the first place. Somehow, I have no idea. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little video just here. I wanted to throw that idea out there. And uh, if you did enjoy, hit that like button down below, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.